Hey everyone, welcome in to day 20 of Dreamers into Doers, and we are just full of contagious creativity on this wild Monday morning. Today we are going to be fleshing out the insides of our little matchbook that we made on our last episode of 18. So I can't wait to dig in. I've cut out a whole bunch of stuff from these two uh, books that I found recently, Graphic 45, um, Paper Crafting Paper, but I think they lend well to our little theme and give it a little punch of that orange color that we're looking for. So I think it's going to be fun. Mixed Media Art refers to a visual art form that combines a variety of media in a single artwork. So, for example, if we draw on a surface with ink and then we paint over it with watercolor, which we have done, and then we add some highlights in colored pencil or chalk or pastels, that is mixed media. Today, is day 20 and it's the 20th of January 2020 for our 20 minutes. I'm really excited about all those possibilities. So today we're going to explore form. As an art fundamental, the form of a work is its shape. So you can see this has lots of shape and lots of form because it's got lots of movement Lots of things, lots of surfaces, lots of play. So it's went from a 2D piece of paper to a three-dimensional art form. So today we're going to explore form. As an art fundamental, the form of a work is its shape. So you can see this has lots of shape and lots of form because it's got lots of movement Lots of things, lots of surfaces, lots of play. So it's went from a 2D piece of paper to a three-dimensional art form. When we talk about form, it also includes volume, either three-dimensional or perceived. So the idea of form is pretty general, but it's very important to any kind of art form from 2D to 3D. Those of us in mixed media, altered art, bookmaking, junk journaling, etc., learn to recognize form by seeing beyond the two dimensions of our paper or canvas or surfaces. So let's look a little bit at this match work that we created here on episode 18. There is a lot going on in this little piece. And I have, like I said earlier, I have cut out some little bits and pieces. It's kind of like putting a puzzle together. Although this is going to be very coordinated because I'm using the same kind of colorways that was created by this Graphics 45 scrapbooking papers that I found. So that's going to give us the continuity. And so I'm just going to sit down here and open up the pages of the book and start putting together this little puzzle that I have. And also, I found these at Tuesday morning, one of my favorite places, and I think they go well with the theme of my book, so I'm going to put some of these on here today as well and put it in my book also, I think. So I think I'm going to start right now by putting this one right there. I think that needs something. I added this a little bit earlier just to do some experimental things with it to make sure it was going to fit in there and I wasn't doing something wonky and crazy. So let me get my glue started here. And let's put this kind of in center. Usually I don't like things centered so much. I like them to be a little bit off. It gives more visually, but I think that's going to be cool. And we will write on that at some point in time also. So that is another little flap folder 
whatever you want to call that's going to add more dimension to this piece. So, and I want to turn over to what's going to be the front because I think I have a really good idea for the front. There is a piece that says once upon a time, digging, digging, there it is. And I think that's gonna be great as the cover of our book. And I do wanna age that just a little bit around the edges. Some of these things I will give dimension and age to, and some of them I may not. So I'm gonna dip and I'm going to rub a little bit of it off on this little piece of paper right here and go ahead and age the edges just a little bit further. And I think I'm gonna round the corners. I probably should have done that before I aged it, but let's see what happens. This is the fun part. Just getting in your studio and playing and letting things happen just naturally. And that's what we are doing today. And I think what I'm going to do right here because I'm looking at the bottom of this, and I told you when I scored this paper, I kind of cut into it. Oops. So I'm gonna put some of that little dotted tape along the bottom just to reinforce that area also before I move on any further. This is a nice little washi tape. Trying to keep my head out of the way of the camera sometimes works and sometimes doesn't. This is duct tape. That's why, so that's why it's a little more moldable and, and heavier than, um, than the washi tape. So I apologize. This is actually duck brand tape if you're looking for this polka dotted stuff. That reminds me that. Maybe at some point in time, I will start giving you the resources for what I'm using to create. I haven't thought of that until just right now. So anyway, I may, I may do that in the future. That's another thing to put on my to-do list, isn't it? So anyway, I reinforced that, which is good. Let me get back to what I was doing, and that was putting my Once Upon a Time on the cover. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have it open this way so that when, when it opens, these will spread in this direction. And that kind of duct tape on there kind of gives it a nice coordinated look, doesn't it? Okay, here we go. Let's glue that down. Getting the glue to work sometimes is the hardest part of crafting, isn't it? I like to keep it upside down, but sometimes if I don't have the lid on it, it makes a really big mess, and then I am in trouble. So I think that's pretty cool. That's pretty centered. Again, sometimes I don't like to center, but I think I'm going to be centered a little bit today. So I really like that. Once upon a time. This is this little matchbook is going to tell a story of the beauty and the beast. I love that. So maybe this is just a little book that the person who's gonna get my older book picked up at um, a little shop or they picked up at um, at a Maybe they went to see the movie, Beauty and the Beast, and this was part of that. Or they made this to talk about Beauty and the Beast. Isn't that cool? I like that. So what I think I want to do for that is you have to think about this structure and how it's going to open and how things are going to lay out. So I think when that opens... I think 
what I'm going to do is just make a pocket here to hold those two cards, the Beauty and the Beast. And let's see what I will make my pocket out of. I've got all kinds of options here. Oh, I think that one is going to be the closest. I think I'm going to go ahead and cut this and make a pocket out of this. That's kind of cute. And I think that's right there. So luckily I've got something straight to cut along. I can do this. And what I'm going to do is round that top edge right there with a punch. Okay. This is a big, biggie, but anyway, it'll give us a little roundness. And then I am just going to attach that in there. Not with glue, but with my tape thing. I think that'll give me enough of an edge. I love putting puzzles together. How about you? <laughs> And I am going to get my glue cage, and I'm going to run this just right off the edge, hopefully. I can get some on the edge and off. So I'll just have a little bit there. I hope that's good. I'm going to back this right in there. Burnish it. And I think my two little cards will fit right in there. Beautifully. Almost. Anyway, I will fiddle with that in a minute. We have to trim some of that bottom edge off of there, but I think we're good. So I think I'm going to stop right now. So I challenge you to go ahead with your timer of 20 minutes today and maybe go another 20 and see if you can't flush out some more of the insides of this. And I will be back tomorrow to talk a little bit more about this and maybe to just do a little more of the insides of this with you. I think that's enough for today. So anyway, happy 20 minutes. Happy Contagious Creativity, and please go on the Creativa on Facebook and leave me any questions or thoughts or something you would like to do or see me do. Please do that, and listen to yesterday's episode 19 video. I think it's a powerful one for all of us. Anyway, this is Rebecca signing off. May peace be with you all.